breaking news alert. Breaking here at 6 o'clock, a student accused of sexually assaulting and then trying to kill his teacher. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Christian Casares. 8 News Now, I-Team's David Charns digging into the investigation. And David, you have reaction from both the staff and students? Yeah, the incident, just the latest in reported violence inside our schools. And those we talked to today say this is just a boiling point. The head of the teachers union saying maybe teachers shouldn't come back after spring break until more is done to protect their safety. If what happened yesterday does not enlighten the community as well as CCSD, I don't know what else is it going to take. The president of the Clark County Education Association says enough is enough. Is it going to take someone dying at the hands of a student? You know, whether it's another student or, or a staff member, we have to have some immediate interventions to, to figure out what to do. What to do after the latest case of violence at CCSD. Sources telling the 8 News Now I team a janitor found this teacher in her classroom after school Thursday. According to police, she was in her room when this 16 year old student came in to talk about grades. At some point, police say that student got violent, punching and strangling the teacher until she lost consciousness. He's also accused of sexually assaulting her. Students out of class Friday afternoon say they were after that situation, everybody's just weirded out. They say this teacher is well known and well liked. Crazy, to be honest. Never really thought that this could actually happen at the school. With school now closed for a week for spring break, the union president says teachers want to feel safe when they return. They want an immediate intervention to happen to occur uh, to make them feel safer about being on those campuses. And in the message, CCSD Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara says he is in part devastated. He also says, quote, our hearts are heavy because of the violence committed against her, and we pray for her full recovery. Now, because of his age, the student would face charges as an adult. Students return to class a week from Tuesday. I'm David Charns, live local now.